Here's when it's time to upgrade your Bubble app plan. The first reason is if you just need access to more features. For example, if you're on the free plan, you can only create up to 200 database records, you don't have access to backend workflows, and you can't connect to a custom domain or go live. It's a great sandbox environment where you can get a lot started, but if it's time for you to access those extra capabilities, you'll want to upgrade to a paid plan. Once you're on one of the paid plans, you'll find that the higher you go in those tiers, more limitations are lifted. So for example, you can go back further in time for your version control, for database restoration, and for your server logs. You can also add more collaborators to your editor. So those limits are lifted depending on the type of plan that you're on. Now with some of those paid features, you may also get access to new capabilities that aren't actually available at all on the lower plans, such as two-factor authentication, sub apps, uh, being able to add custom branches to your development environment, and more. The next reason to upgrade your Bubble app plan is if you need more workload units to consume on a monthly basis. Every single Bubble app plan, even the free one, comes with a certain amount of workload units that you can use on a monthly basis. The higher the plan you are, the more units that you have access to. Now, if you find that your application is regularly exceeding that amount, then you may need to upgrade your plan to the next level. But don't forget, Bubble also offers workload tiers that you can add on to your plan, as well as overages that you can enable. These can be more cost-effective solutions to get you the bump that you need to get access to the workload units to support all of your features. Now, there are a few things where you don't necessarily need to be on a specific plan or need to upgrade just to have access to more capabilities. The first is just previewing your app pages. You can do this on any plan, even the free plan. Just keep in mind that on the free plan, you'll only be able to preview your development pages because you can't go live until you're on a paid plan, but you do have access to your pages uh, as soon as the app is created. The second thing is file storage. Now, once you are on a paid plan, you can add on additional storage to your editor. Every plan comes with a certain amount of storage capacity for uploading files, but you do have the ability to add on more if you need a little boost without necessarily upgrading to the next base plan. Similarly, as I mentioned, with workload tiers and enabling overages, you have these add-on capabilities, but you do need to be on any paid plan in order to have access to that. The last thing is with sub apps. If you are creating sub applications um, in your app environment, the only requirement is that your primary app is on the team plan. The sub apps can actually be on lower plans. It just depends on the capability needs and workload consumption of each of those individual sub apps.